Bob, who recently retired, grew up in the Hamden Heights section of Reading. A leader in the field of forensic accounting, he holds a degree in accounting from Temple and an MBA from New York University. Bob first became involved with the Jewish community as a teen and now currently serves as the board chair of the Jewish Federation of Reading Berks. He is the father of two children and lives with his wife Beth and Oli. I came to Reading at the age of six with my mother Rosalind and my adopting father Harold Castro. My first summer in Reading was on the Castro family farm in nearby Sinking Spring. We then moved and I grew up in Hampton Heights section of Reading. Rosalind was a stay-at-home mom and Harold was an individual private investor with interest throughout the Northeast. Thereafter, I graduated from Temple University with a degree in accounting and went on to earn my MBA in finance at NYU in New York. After graduation, I started a 13-year career at Richard A. Eisner & Company in New York City, specializing in forensic accounting, a new branch of accounting at the time. After a romance conducted between, New York, between Reading and New York City and coming home to Reading on weekends, I fell in love with and married Beth Coopersmith, the daughter of Goldie and Edward Coopersmith. Ed was a key player at Talbot Knitting Mills, working alongside Sidney Barrett for many years. Beth and I lived in New York City from 1977 to 1983, and then moved on to Fort Lee, a large apartment, which would be more appropriate for, to start a young family. Morton was adopted in November of 1985, and Richard was adopted in May of 1988. The two-bedroom apartment in Fort Lee quickly became somewhat tight for the family. So a decision was made to leave New Jersey, return home to Reading, Pennsylvania, and move back into my childhood home on Olive Street. We were very glad to be back home in Reading and to be able to spend the time with best brothers and brothers family and to reinstate ourselves into the Reading community at large and the Jewish community specifically. All that was missing in metropolitan New York. There was a lack of community feel. While growing up in Reading, I was the first president of the Jewish Community Youth Council, which is a project advanced by then Hilda Freeman, director of programming at the JCC. Upon returning to Reading in early 1989, I once again sought out Hilda, who is now known as Hilda Yavlin, and had progressed to direct the position of exec director of the JCC. I asked Hilda, how can one become more active in the Jewish community? And as a result of that question, I was nominated to the board of the JCC soon after arriving back in Reading. As a CPA, I was asked to be the treasurer of the JCC and served a two-year tumultuous term. I took a break from, J from the JCC Jewish Federation board activities for a number of years. Though we remained active at Kesher Zion Synagogue, especially with two young children, we were also active in JCC's Cub Scout Path with Morton Ritchie and I participated in several nonprofit organizations at the board and officer levels. In 1988, I took a management position for the public accounting firm in Allentown, and we opened an office in Reading. That relationship lasted 18 years, at which time I wanted to spend more time at home in the community with my family. I changed firms for the last time in 2007 and became a partner in a local firm well known, well known here in Berks County as Herbiting Company. I once again became involved with the Jewish community, serving on the JCC board and the Federation board through some very difficult years of both organizations. As a result of my involvement with the JCC Finance Committee and that of the Federations, I co-chaired the search committee for a new Federation Executive Director with Jim Rothstein. The committee worked for almost a year to find the right individual for the job and for the community. We found Bill Franklin, who continues to be a very effective leader the Federation and Jewish community at large. So why did I spend a great deal of my free time working on JCC Federation issues? It's quite simply stated as follows. As Jews, we always have recognized there is need to do for ourselves as a people. And we also recognize that we are not isolated but are members of a larger community. Whether we are working with other nonprofits, people or organizations in Berks County and elsewhere, or on international matters affecting multiple countries and many peoples. We're working at the family level and individual relationship level. At the end of the day, we must take care of ourselves and of our community. Taking the steps necessary and appropriate to continue Judaism here in Berks County, for those here today and for many yet to come. This has been my own personal form of charity. I can think of no better mechanism or organization which is better suited than the Brain Jewish Federation to achieve that goal, to promote Jewish values, Jewish way of life, and to serve as a thought leader and change agent in the greater Reading Burst community. It is an honor and privilege to be associated with the organization, and all that it represents today, and most importantly, all that it will represent in the future. 
The Jewish Federation of Reading Berks hopes you enjoyed this story and also getting to know another one of your fellow Jews living in Berks County. The Federation is a central organization for Jewish issues affecting all Jews in Berks County. Here are some of the many ways your gift to Federation supports our Jewish community. Providing cultural programs through the JCC, such as the Jewish Film Festival and Literature Berks. Assisting Jews in need through Jewish Family Service. Combating the growing problem of anti-Semitism. Funding Jewish education. Supporting Jews in Israel and around the world. Federation represents all of us, working in cooperation with our local synagogues and other community partners. To continue providing these services, we need to substantially increase the amount Federation raises through our annual campaign. During our 2020 campaign, a group of generous and committed community members will be matching dollar for dollar any increase in giving. Every increased dollar you donate in 2020 becomes $2. If you are already a contributor, thank you. Would you consider increasing your gift? If you're not yet a contributor, would you consider starting? Each gift to Federation helps keep the story of Jewish life going in Berks County.